burial place below Krin. During the final battles for liberation of Slovenia in 1945, many armed units that fought on the German side and against the Yugoslavian National Liberation Army were making their retreat to the Austrian Carinthia. The number of people in the Corinthian refugee camps were rapidly increasing, which caused problems with settlement and food. Therefore, the command of the Allied forces decided in May of 1945 that all military and civil persons coming from Yugoslavia and the Soviet Union to Corinthia are returned to their home authorities and that at the same time no new refugees are accepted. The extradited military and civil persons were brought to Slovenia by heavily guarded transports. The transports from Podgorje were directed through the entrance camps Radovlica and Kran towards the castle of Škofjaloka and the central camp at the Bishop's Seminary in Šintvit, Ljubljana. The refugees from Bleiberg were taken back to Slovengradec and then to Teharje near Celje. The camps for admitting and processing returned refugees were under the command of the Department of Slovenia for Protection of the Nation. After the questioning, the prisoners were sorted into three groups, A, B, and C. The last one meant execution. Those that were sentenced to death were taken at night to the place of execution. From Teharje by car to the abandoned mine shafts near Hrastnik, and from Šintvit by train to Kočevje, and from there by trucks to the karst abysses in Kočevskirok, the most known among them pod Krenom. The prisoners from groups A and B were judged by military courts. They were mostly sentenced to temporal punishments with confiscation of property. However, according to the decree of the Anti-Fascist Council of the National Liberation of Yugoslavia from 3rd of August 1945, most of the convicted persons were released. Most of the mass executions in Slovenia took place from May till July of 1945 until January 1946.